Hi, this is Gary with MacMos Now. Today I want to show you how to print your own photo books using iPhoto and Apple.com. So I'm going to risk sounding like an infomercial here because I really love this. Using iPhoto, you can go ahead and order through Apple.com books that have your photos in them. You can get wirebound, softcover, or hardcover books, all different sizes. They range in prices from $10 for a small softcover book to $30 and more for a large hardcover book. You basically go into iPhoto, choose the photos you want, and then you can lay them out and you can add additional pages as well so you can make these things pretty much as big as you want. You can fit multiple photos on a single page and do all sorts of creative things with them. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. All right, so here we are in iPhoto. Now you can choose the photos that you want to make into a book and you can go ahead and click the book icon at the bottom. You then get to choose the type of book. You can choose hardcover, softcover, wirebound at different sizes. So we can choose a medium softcover for instance. We can pick from one of many different themes to start with and get started. Then you get your photos at the top and a view of your book at the bottom. You can flip through the pages back and forth and then go ahead and drag and drop photos into areas and also enter text. You can go ahead and enter large blocks of text on some pages. On other pages you can go ahead and just have photos if you like. Um, you can go ahead and adjust the themes. Uh, you can adjust uh, the layouts of single pages for instance to change it. You can add additional pages if you don't want to go with the standard number of pages in a book. Uh, you can even use Autoflow which will just flow in all your photos into a book uh, to be really quick about it. And you go through and play with your book and adjust it as much as you want. You can also, of course, even adjust individual pictures, changing the scale and the contrast of the photo here, even applying special effects to it. So there's tons of stuff that you could do with the photos. You can basically go wild with your design. You can change the settings of the book, for instance, changing. Uh, fonts, sizes, that type of thing. In addition to pressing the Buy Book button for ordering information, you can also go ahead and print out your book. This is one of the coolest features. If you have a great printer, for instance, you could of course go ahead and print the book out using your own printer. A few of us have a printer of this high enough quality, but you can also save it as a PDF, which means you can create a digital copy of your book for archiving purposes. So not only can you get one or more copies printed out and of course save it in iPhoto, but you can also have this online version. You can even upload it or email it to friends. Now I've come full circle on how much I like this product. At first I didn't think it was a good deal. It seemed to be a little bit expensive. Might as well just keep the photos as digital copies or go to a cheaper service and get them printed out as regular photos. But when I saw how many photos you can fit on a page, particularly when the photos should be grouped together and also how many different options there were and how nice these books were and how much nicer they were than actually printing individual photos out and making your own photo albums. Well, I came around. Now I love them and I like to print them up as presents for people from special events. I also like to make them for my own library for special events that I've taken photos from. It really adds a lot more value to my digital photo taking. I know this sounds like an infomercial, but I really do like it. Now you can go to the Apple website and take a look at all the different options and prices for these iPhoto printing books. There's a lot of different information here and a lot of really good examples of what you can do. It even has examples of all the different themes. So if you like taking digital photos and you like photo albums, then you may like this. So check it out. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.